like, well, I was tripping shrooms. I was like, this rug looks like a vagina. I'm being rebirthed. Rebirth. I am Lady Jesus. What's up, guys? I'm Upsall, and I'm here with The Box. Heard your motto was big dick energy. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I feel like as a woman, having big dick energy is like the most powerful thing you can do. I don't know, I feel like when I was growing up, when I was in like high school, I guess even before high school, I was very, very shy. And then one day I was like, I don't wanna be shy anymore, I'm gonna fake it till I make it. Like big dick energy all the way. And I've just like kept up with it since, I guess, yeah. Do you still have a picture of you and a guitar on your Hinge profile? <laughs> yes. I think I made a video on TikTok, like, talking shit about how, like, the only way people slide into my Hinge DMs is because they're like, sick, you make music, you have a guitar. I'm like, really good, good job. Um, yes, I kept it up. That's how I get, the, that's how I get most of my, my oh, slides. Yes, so you gotta, daddy. you gotta take what you can get. You Do you know? have a success story? Not yet. Most people on Hinge are pretty trash, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We're trying. We're trying. I'm almost about to give up, but we're trying. No, you gotta keep going. <laughs> it's an app that's designed to be deleted. Is that, isn't that that they're saying? It is. I feel like it's trash. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> we'll see. All right, here we go. We're gonna put the first item. So close your eyes. Bro, okay. No peeking. I'm like actually genuinely stressed for this. So I have some multitask, like yes. hardcore while being kind yes. of terrified. Yes. Okay. So gotcha. don't look in, just open the lid. Okay. Open the top. Bro, I swear to God. Okay. Okay, don't look in. Ready? You can look at the camera. Just oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Right. Okay. I'm three, just scared. Okay. Two, one. So we know you live your oh. day, everyday life like it's the Last Supper. So what food we having at the Last Supper? What the f is this? What's your profanity? Uh, at the Last Supper, we're having sugarfish sushi, a lot of tequila. And what is this? That's up to you. There's a it. hole in it. What is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm like fingering this thing. What is it? What is this? All right, time's I have up. No... You got to job it. Literally, is this... what is this? That is <laughs> a water supplier. A water supplier. Kind of looks like, like, never mind. But yes, a water supplier. <laughs> yes. See? How was I supposed to? This is hard, this is hard, okay. Nope. So you didn't get that one, all right, here we go. Whatever. Zero, right. four, or one right now. Yeah, god so damn. who's also invited to the Last Supper? The Last Supper would be my parents, my siblings, my brother and my sister, um, and my best friends from high school. I feel like it's where I'm like still best friends with like everyone that I was best friends with in high school. And then my like five closest friends in LA. And that would be it, and it would be lit. It would be very fun. What's the best and worst part of being in LA? The best part of being in LA is it's a very inspiring place to be. I feel like you walk down the street and like one person is like writing a screenplay and the next person is on their way to a photo shoot and the next person is on their way to write music and like everyone's just creative. Everyone here is like dreaming big and just like shooting for the stars or whatever the f but like, it is a very inspiring place to be. The worst part is I feel like, and I sing about it a lot in my songs, but like sometimes the people here can just be fake as shit, and it's very frustrating, especially like when I was new here, like three, four years ago, like I felt like everybody I was meeting was just like a fake ass bitch. And then I was like, am I ever gonna find real people in this city? But then once you do, it's really cool. And like once you see kind of like through the bullshit, it's like, it's home. I literally love LA, but it took a sec, for sure. It's an acquired taste. It is, <laughs> it very much is. What's your favorite hangover remedy? When I'm super hungover, I Postmate a really greasy breakfast burrito. And sometimes like a, like a Bloody Mary is good. Like you have to like fix the hangover with some more alcohol. But if not, I just like lay in bed all day and like drink Pedialyte and like cry. What about with a breakfast burrito? Water down McDonald's Sprite. Did you find this on my Twitter or some sh That's a tweet from <laughs> March 27, 2021. So yeah, I was like, you know, this. I know this doesn't just happen to me, but like when you come home, you're pretty drunk and you're like, you know what I want? McDonald's, some fried food. 
and you post made it and then you fall asleep before it arrives and then the next morning you wake up and you're like you find yourself drinking water down McDonald's right it's just how it goes sometimes is the next one easier or is it like another random Some subject say, you know life is very subjective you know <laughs> Alright, you okay. know the deal, right? So, ready? I'm gonna, yep, alright, open it. Alright, put your hand in, go. Okay. Do you remember Lizzo remixing your video? I do, that was crazy. Okay, this is like a, it's a vase, it's a flower, it's some sort of like. Keep touching, keep touching. Is it a cup? What is this? Does it hold? Oh, it's a candle, it's a candle. She got it. Yes. Alright, you got one. <laughs> oh my Wait, god, I'm so proud of myself. What do you remember about? When you saw Lizzo remixing your video? Um, I do these like TikTok duet things. Um, it started when I was in quarantine and I was very bored where I like duet. I turn people talking into songs basically. And I did it for Lizzo because I was just saw the video and I thought it was funny. And then the next morning I like woke up to like 10 different people calling me being like, you're on Lizzo's TikTok. Like she duetted your duet. And I thought they were kidding, and then I like opened TikTok and I was like, oh. I've been a fan of Lizzo since Truth Hurts came out, and like, yeah, that was crazy. It like didn't really feel real. It was wild. But I was like half asleep too, like processing it all. It was great. Oh, that's insane. Can you spell bananas for me? Bananas? Yes. Yeah. So, yo, this sh is bananas. B A N A N A S. <laughs> Yeah. So what's it about Gwen Stefani that just touches your soul? Gwen is like, growing up, my mom made me a little mixtape of like No Doubt songs that I would just listen to like all the time, driving around in the car with my mom. And um, I don't know, just watching like a badass woman be like the front, like lead person of an all dude band and she dressed however she wanted. She acts like a psychopath on stage. Like she just doesn't give a f to me, as like a six-year-old kid, that was like the most inspiring thing ever. So since then, Gwen has been like one of my like biggest inspirations for sure. Oh, she's for sure a legend. Hell yes. All right, time of my life. Yes. Time of my life. Oh, sorry. Time of my life. Time of my. If this is it, I want my money back, bitch. Are you happy with the purchase, or do you want a full refund? <laughs> Some days I want a refund, but. Right now, I feel like I finally, post-COVID, post-breakup, I wrote my breakup album. I feel like I'm finally in like the best headspace I've ever been in. Uh, but Time of My Life was a very therapeutic song for me to write, for sure. Yeah. Now going back to The Last Supper, we know your next single is going to be Lady Jesus. Yes. Can you tell us how you came up with the name and what's it about? And show us the tattoo. Yes, so Lady Jesus is the name of my album, and there's also a song on the album called Lady Jesus. Got my tattoo that um, when I released the album artwork, you'll notice it's very similar. But um, yeah, I was in Nashville. I was with uh, my two, some of my best friends that I write most of my music with, Johnny Shore and Will J, and we were doing a writing camp, and I was in a pretty shitty place, and then like before going to Nashville, and then we were there, and I was like, I think I'm okay now. Like, I feel like I've been like reborn. And then we wrote this song called Lady Jesus that day about being reborn. And then right after we wrote the song, Trip Shrooms, like in the studio, and there was this rug. Sorry, this is a whole thing. You asked. There was this rug that, like, while I was tripping shrooms, I was like, this rug looks like a vagina. I'm being rebirthed. I am Lady Jesus. And then we, on the come down, we're like, what are we naming the album? Like, what's it gonna be? And we were like, we're calling it Lady Jesus. And since then, I've just been kind of like owning that energy of like rebirth and like feeling like a new bitch. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Can't wait, do you have a date? I do. Oh yeah, it's out. I released a date. It's <laughs> October 8th, 2021. Oh, yeah. All right, oh, yeah. so you got one out of two right. So good oh, job. Yes. But I have to answer something, Yes. Yeah, so right? now we're gonna ask you a question and you gotta answer it truthfully. I'm stressed. <laughs> this is scary. What is the most embarrassing thing your parents have caught you doing? Whew. Um, my parents and I are like extremely close. They're dope. So there's not like, I don't like keep much from them, but I'm trying to think. 
I it's mean, like, the worst is when they, like, walk in on you having sex. Like, that did happen to me once. I feel like that happens to everyone <laughs> once. And that's, like, not fun. What mm. happened? Uh, they just walked in and they were like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Closed the door and left. <laughs> like, it was great. Uh, yeah, that's not fun for did anyone. Did you see the guy leave? Um, it was my boyfriend at the time, so they were like, whatever. We, we like, already knew y'all weren't here. It's fine. <laughs> Have they seen your PSA video on how to uh, wrap your tool? Uh, what? <laughs> yes, I filmed that at my parents' house, actually. And it's funny because I was quarant I quarantined with my parents during COVID for most of it. And I remember that morning, I was like, Mom, I need you to run. Because that was during a time of COVID where, like, you, no one was leaving the house and like you had to pick one person in the family to like go get groceries. And she's like, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I was like, I need you to get me condoms. Like I'm filming a video later. And she just didn't ask a question. She's like, great. And like came back with condoms and was like great about it. So yeah, my parents are, are very, I feel lucky to have the parents that I do. Yeah. All right, awesome. Well, you made it through the box. Survived, yay. Is there anything that you want to say to the people out there? Stay tuned for Lady oh, Jesus. Yes, I'm very Daddy. excited about this album and the most vulnerable I've been. It means a lot to me. Yeah, go check it out, October 8th. Awesome, perfect. Sick, right, dude, thank you. <laughs> that was chill. You guys are dope.